today we are delivering a, a bunk bed, a full-size bed, some living room furniture, um, bedding and all of those things, and we're delivering it to a family in need in Indianapolis. So thankfully we've had a lot of people donate, which has been great. Um, and actually a new church member donated a couch, some living room furniture and beds, and so they should be started and well on their way of her being able to keep her children with her and really getting them all united as a family. We live so, so comfortably here especially in this town and Fishers in this area. But just 15, 20 minutes away, there are people with still absolutely destitute. The last place we went to, they legitimately was a situation where the kids were sleeping on the floor with a couple of blankets on the ground. Um, there was no furniture in the apartment. Um, they had nothing. The kitchen was empty. There, were no, there weren't even like pots and pans. It was uh, um, a very sad, difficult situation. We don't know these people and we're like strangers and yet we come out to help them and we do everything we can and we follow up and sometimes they need, have needs down the road and we uh, try to help them again, you know, and sometimes there's young babies and they need maybe just diapers. One thing about donations to our church, we don't have the overhead you would if you gave it to another charity because our help is donated. So 100% of what you give goes to work for you. We could use uh, somebody, if somebody has a pickup, we often need uh, uh, two, three vehicles, like today we're using three. So we've got a couple of bunk beds getting put together upstairs right now for the kiddos. We have another metal frame bed going upstairs for the adults room. Um, we put in a couple couches for the living room, some dining chairs. Part of the way we get our needs is through a nonprofit organization called Hands of Hope. We work through a care portal and they inload things with the Department of Child Services. So this is how we, honestly, we got the mother for today and that we will continue to get each and every month. We get new ones loaded in. Um, I go through them and we look at them and we decide which ones really speak to our hearts and we try to answer as many as we can. We have a lot of fun coming here and doing this stuff. It's it's just a communion with our, with our friends and neighbors and people that we love that go to the church. Our motivation to do it for the Lord Jesus Christ. You, you can't stop us, we're coming, guys. We're gonna get this stuff into the house no matter what. But would we, would we be happy if we had some young members from the church join? Absolutely, I, I, will, I will be honest, uh, th that's always helpful. We do this because this is what the church was called to do. Um, it's pretty much as simple as that. Jesus uh, commanded us and told us to first love God with all of our heart, soul, and mind and strength, and right after that, to love your neighbor. And we can say that we love people all we want, um, but until we uh, put our hands and feet to it and actually love people through action, you know, it's only gonna go so far. So we want people to know Jesus and we want people to meet Jesus and we want people to know the love of Jesus. So that's on us as a church to do that. So that's why we're here. For something as simple as something that we might take for granted in our everyday life that we just get to have, and we don't even think about having a bed. We don't even take a second thought to that. And um, the fact that people struggle and have to go through that, I'm just, I am just happy that we're here. Sometimes we get a lot of donated material and then other, other times we don't, like we've gone months without any donations. So on this, we've, we, we've got it through members of the church. I can tell you there's nothing more sadder than, than, than to walk into a home and, and see a child who doesn't have a bed to sleep in at night. And then if, if, if we have a table and they don't have a table, we ask them, hey, would it be we got a table at the church, donated table, would you, would you, could you use it? And, and if the lady says, yes, absolutely, we'll make, an, we'll make another trip out there. That's not a problem with us. And as you can see, these things aren't easy to put together. And, and they're not light. Uh, a box of this can weigh 300 to 400 pounds. We put all the slits in, all the framing there, the headboard, everything was put together at the church. And then, uh, and then we bring it here and we try to save some time. Last night there were, uh sleeping on the floor and uh, tonight they'll be sleeping on mattresses. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty awesome. If you want to be a part of FAM, we'd love to have you. Uh, they call us the fossils. 
like I said, we're a bunch of older guys right now that, that are just doing the Lord's work, but we get it done and we're happy to do it. And what's the bonus? The bonus is every time I walk out of a house and I see children smiling because now they got a place to sleep or they got a place to eat or they got a place to rest. That's the payoff, guys. That's the payoff right there. It's a smile from Jesus. He's, he's looking down on us. He's watching every move we make. He's looking down and smiling because we're helping his children. Jesus, he put his sandals on and he answered the call from his father. The call comes out, guys, we gotta answer. We gotta answer that call. And I'm gonna answer it. I hope you answer it with me. God bless you, God bless our church. God bless our pastors. We're one big happy family, I love you all. Thank you for listening to me, amen.